Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Online Satsang. This satsang is an opportunity for everybody to meet and discuss the spiritual matters, get your doubts cleared, and this is the point of interaction for those who are doing the Path of Knowledge program. So all questions are most welcome. Madhuri is asking, can there be an absence of mind? If it can be, can it be experienced? And uh, as we know, mind is mind is nothing but a memory and the memory is nothing but the vibrations and can the vibrations be absent that is impossible so it is possible that one of the activity comes and goes and another activity starts this much is possible it is not possible to completely stop all the activities in the mind because that is happening on its own it is not being done and if it is not being done then cannot be stopped if nobody started it nobody can stop it and there are thousands of activities that are happening some people say it is my my mind it's not theirs this statement is coming from the ego that is simply another activity so people confuse the absence of a certain kind of activity with absence of mind it is not like this and the whole experience is actually of the mind so without it there is nothing and what is this mind it is you only your changing form at the level of non duality the mind is also me can you be absent no is it really happening no so that which is actually not there cannot start cannot stop simply appears to be like this or we say that in the concepts of starting stopping all this everyday concepts they do not apply to what is actually there and they do not apply to mind also because mind is beyond time starting stopping these words they are in time so that which is beyond time because of which there appears time it is completely meaningless to us something which is time related madhur is asking that means when we feel calm it is also an experience yes it is tremendous amount of activity only the calmness is actually thousands of activities the body is working the emotions are working they are giving you pleasant feeling thoughts are going on that today i am very calm even if you do not repeat these things in language they are still thoughts are going awareness is there causal body is active the whole layered structure is active thousands of processes are happening so that's why i said those who don't know what it is they will confuse it with stopping starting like some people say the mind stops at when we go to sleep and then it starts again in the morning but what happens is one state changes into another if it really stopped there won't be any body there won't be any world there won't be any person they will also disappear because these things are mind only shivaka she is asking what if one particular desire reappears again and again for years despite watching that desire multiple times in awareness that means it is important for you somehow and if it is not harmful it should be fulfilled usually the desires that are harmful they do not repeat that much but if something needs to be done it comes up again and again and again so if it is possible to fulfill it fulfill it it will go away it will not appear again leela is asking if fulfilling this desire will create more karmic bonds such as relationship is that okay it totally depends on the kind of desire that is it is never okay to form any bonds but if something is so complicated that it cannot be fulfilled without forming a karmic bond then no problem that must be done and then there will be fruits because all actions have fruits then you should be ready to experience those fruits also and because this is all a play you should do that action which is going to fulfill the desire which is going to form the bonds and uh, you can you you can remain in awareness while doing that and when you get the fruits that also should be done in awareness there is a like a flow chart of desires or actions is it really necessary to form karmic bonds and if it says no then no need to do it or is it possible to do it in some other way without getting into this 
bond then yes and if there is no other option it must be done then yes it should be done in awareness and then the fruits will come they should be experienced in awareness so what will happen is it will not leave any imprint on the memory because it was done in awareness in short we should avoid the unnecessary actions and if it is not possible to avoid them it should be done in awareness like a play Lela is saying nowadays I always hesitate when opening myself to new people. Yes, we should always check whether it is really necessary and the criteria should be am I going to progress with this? And another criteria is is that person with whom the bond is formed is that person going to progress or not? Sometimes the second one is more important. You are already progressing. There is no doubt about it. But if the action is done in such a way that somebody else also progresses then even if there is a bond the fruits will be positive Shivakash is asking is it not possible to burn that desire itself yes it is possible by burning it means that it is satisfied or it is suppressed is there any other way you can watch it in awareness which you are doing but uh, you are saying that it is coming again and again so usually the desires they go away when you watch them in awareness they don't result in actions you see that's all can be done the action can be avoided while being in awareness but the desires cannot be avoided because they are not coming because they are not yours it is simply in the storehouse of memory from there these impulses are coming so for that you will need to erase that memory which is somewhat difficult but usually if it is simply some kind of unimportant desire then it goes away by simply watching it because it is not reinforced by doing action on it or thinking about it but if it repeats so much every day many times that means the impression is very very deep and now it will be difficult the awareness is helpless here so the only way is to fulfill it and then it becomes weaker and that that weak desire can be burnt away in the light of awareness Rahul is asking what is humor when i become aware of it then it drops another mental activity where some there is some contradiction which is funny so normally it produces a reaction in the emotions and body etc but when you become absolutely aware of it then yes it loses that energy it's very natural it is same with all the activities that happen in the mind if it is something which is sadness not humor not funny then also it it will go away if you are aware of it it is like the awareness is uh, like a silencer silencer of the car there are explosions happening in the car in the engine but when you add the silencer it you cannot hear it same way the mental activity is silenced by awareness any kind of something that is resulting in happiness will be silenced something that is causing suffering sadness that also will be silenced usual actions that happen crying depression laughing whatever speaking they are all silenced chit is asking i feel there is strong connection between layer of mind and your video of multi level language probably there is yes if that uh, person is already grown to such some level where the direct teachings can happen when the direct teachings are useful then they are given that means the higher layers are already somewhat active and he needs a little bit of push that's all no preparation needed but yes if the if the higher layers are not so active by active i mean developed then uh, we need to drop down to some other level and yes there can be correspondence between the activity of the layers and the teaching that is given so somebody who is living at the lower layers only survival only then they are given that kind of knowledge and the knowledge is mostly like commands what should you do what should you not do what is good what is not good but as they rise in the layers they become more and more aware of their layers then they can grasp something which is related to that layer so path of knowledge is totally related to the intelligence layer of intellect and awareness so somebody who has already cleared the bottom layers 
is ready for knowledge otherwise this is totally meaningless for a person who is still struggling with the lower layers and that is why something different is given to them so that answers this question that uh, why are there so many systems why are there so many paths because there are so many kinds of people you can group them if you want and that is the origin of the caste system in india so you see a lot of things are based on layers the caste system was originally a psychological system of classification and what was classified not people causal bodies were classified in four groups and within the groups there were groups sub castes so now this is so controversial that we don't even want to discuss this because it has corrupted so much because of the fall of knowledge there is a fall in intelligence of people in this age so what was very useful at one time has become corrupted and has actually become genetic classification now the caste is based on your birth family and so on which is totally garbage it has become a social system instead of a spiritual system people try to classify people other people based on their abilities their layers and in india the classification went to causal layer what is stored there you can classify people based on that but it always becomes an issue because people are not ready for this kind of things so the spirituality is still happening based on this kind of classification we check the causal layer always because the kind of teaching that is given to a person depends on his or her current level of development growth how much they have pro- progressed and it is very natural also that uh, somebody who has progressed a lot and you start from the bottom and they will pick up in one or two days they will pick up that teaching in one or two days and they will say i already know all these things so they always start with where they are it is very natural like we say it is necessary to do like this because nothing else is possible if somebody is not that developed and if you start with a higher teaching then obviously they will drop down to the lower because their questions will start coming at the lower layers from the lower layers and that the guru has no other option but needs to drop down so it is impossible to do anything else we say like this and that is why there is multi level teaching it is there in all the traditions although some traditions they try to maintain the purity like the advait but they are also like i said sub castes there is variation in intelligence also many people are highly intelligent but there are also some things can be seen some abilities are more in some some are less and so on you see satya is asking some masters say deep sleep is ignorance avidya and some say it is pure state of being now we don't really know what the mean isn't it who is the master in what context they are saying but in our case the sleep is neither knowledge nor ignorance because if you recall the definition of ignorance it is simply illogical connections in the memory so the memory is not so active in deep sleep and therefore there is no ignorance is there knowledge no no knowledge so yes pure state of being this is the only state of existence where it is not immersed in any kind of dreams sleep is the original state of existence and then the dreams they come as a disturbance <laughs> in this peaceful state so there will be many peop- many points of views depending on the paths and traditions and my recommendation is always to stick with one so you will never get confused anjali is saying recently i have seen this ring which is given by sadguru for spiritual growth of seekers what are your views on these type of metal ornaments and they are useless on the path of knowledge no metal can affect your growth and no metal can stop it so they are for those who are doing energy practices or have done something in the past lives otherwise it is simply metal and it looks good beautiful design so if you are doing something which is told by sadguru then probably these things will support in the practice otherwise they have no effect on other people chit is asking what is the difference between brahman and par brahman and one thing i am sure is consciousness subjective is it universal as far as our system is concerned there is no difference sometimes the brahma 
or Brahman is taken as with qualities and then to describe that which is without qualities they invented one one more word the par brahm par brahm which is it simply means beyond the brahm so whenever we say brahm we always mean the one without qualities where the qualities are apparent yes consciousness is universal yes correct and uh, there is nothing which is objective everything is subjective all experience is subjective and consciousness is beyond subjective and objective also that which is is conscious the existence is conscious so by subjective usually it is meant that there is some kind of experience but consciousness is not an experience so it is beyond subjective or objective and there are no objective experiences also all experiences are subjective sometimes there is agreement between two people agreement between two experiences that are called objective yeah he is asking are physical and emotional negative symptoms during one's path a sign of some impurities if so how can one get to process and see beyond them there can be two reasons there can be some simple reason like you are in a bad situation that are causing the negative emotions and uh, there can be something which is in the memory which is coming up again and again that is causing the negative emotion and that will be called an impurity which is not dependent on something external so how can we process there is only one method on the path of knowledge it is seen as false illusion and then whatever happens happens in complete awareness so its self reinforcement stops because how does the memory continue by copying by repeating itself and when it is happening in awareness that reinforcement will stop and it will be seen as simply another useless activity of the mind which is illusory so that weightage is not given to it and it disappears so always begin with knowledge and then abide in knowledge and this process will start it will remove all impurities actually and when will that remove it that is not fixed there is no fixed duration so this practice will remain for whole of your life because you will see that one of the impurity goes away something else comes up because there are a lot whatever is accumulated is huge so they keep coming out but the major ones they will be gone in this lifetime this is the practice of abiding or we call it the awareness practice remaining in knowledge rajit is asking is it possible to lose this knowledge due to old age yes it is possible yeah old age disease memory loss alzheimers or if something else comes up in your life which is more important than knowledge then this is forgotten and finally the death wipes it out completely but what cannot be forgotten is the impression it changes the causal body that cannot be erased whatever ha- is happening in the in your day to day life yes that can be forgotten so we say that all these defects in the body and the mind which are simply the lower layers isn't it because of the old age the body and the mind will be i mean the body and the other lower layers will be affected like body nervous system some more activities some more functions will be degraded like recall recall of memory and that gives an impression that the knowledge is not there now but it is already stored somewhere in the causal body deep in the memory and when a new body is taken that appears reappears as tendencies and given the right atmosphere right teachings right guru the person becomes knowledgeable again so his knowledge resides in memory and the memory can go away any time that is why this practice of abiding and contemplation is so important because it makes a permanent mark on the causal body if you remain involved in knowledge if you dedicate your life to knowledge and awareness then it makes a very big impression on the causal body simply listening reading this book that book watching this video that video falls in the category of entertainment not spiritual practice and that is forgotten completely because you have done so many things like that so contemplation getting completely involved and then doing the symbolic work symbolic action that all puts really deep impression on the causal body then it will be so deep sometimes that you are born with the knowledge 
that simply appears in the mind in the waking state so that is our goal if your practice is so weak that the old age or some disease can wipe it out then uh, no problem next life do it well in the next life this is the story of everybody here we are doing this since many many lifetimes how do we know this <laughs> this personal experience graham is asking unlike other knowledge it seems that i forget awareness i get into an unhappy state and that causes me to remember but we can still forget that is not forgetting the knowledge that is an awareness you see the old age and other diseases they will cause so much damage that you will never become aware again that will be that is worst worst case but uh, this everyday unhappiness is uh, it comes and goes because probably these tendencies are stronger than the tendencies of awareness so th- this is the natural law the s- the stronger wins that which is strong wins always so slowly with your practice the other tendencies become weaker and the knowledge and awareness become strong those who don't want to wait those who want to progress quickly impatient people there are ways to make it stronger but on the path of knowledge we don't do any practice it is most natural path so we allow the forgetting also what is most important on the path of knowledge is getting the knowledge that's all it's like initiation is the most important then nobody bothers about it on other paths there is so much focus on practice if you are not practicing the guru becomes angry kicks you out of the ashram and so on the practice is the essence of many paths but path of knowledge knowledge is the essence did you understand it or not did you get it or not are there any doubts remaining are you pretending that i know but simply you have assumed it did you get the evidence or not evidence is crucial most important thing is evidence otherwise it will be forgotten anyway it is like the stories you hear from here and there without any evidence and they are forgotten they do not cause any kind of awareness also the real knowledge is that about which you are convinced it is like the sun shining in the day time and then you don't need any practice then whatever is happening the river the flood cannot stop cannot be stopped in one day so then it dries out eventually only awareness remains and that is the stopping of the cycles of birth and death so there is a long time before it, it can happen and we are not in a hurry because we have infinite amount of time few births are not a big problem what was the problem ignorance was the real problem the poison was the problem now the recovery you know poison is removed you got the medicine now there will be phase of recovery just rest enjoy why do people worry about old age and so so many things negative emotions and all it's nothing the most important job is done now there is some decoration and makeup something like this beautification is happening which is called purification purification is happening john t is asking why are some people ambitious because they have more desires their desires are stronger than average and then they are more active determined powerful because of the force of the desires unfulfilled desires and as they get fulfilled the that force that energy drops so you will see this trend that uh, the young people are more ambitious simply want to do something but as they grow old their desires are being fulfilled satisfied somewhat more or less and then they, their activity stops then in the old age nobody wants to do anything they retire we say we are retired because nothing more is there to do don't want to do anything so it totally depends on how much desire you have the desire is the driving force chit is asking is it possible some day we have a scientific theory of consciousness accepted through the globe like science and scientific laws no it is not possible because science is the study of the physical world and consciousness is not a theory it is the truth right now right here it is present you are that do you need a theory to explain that you are there and do people like to accept would people even think of accepting or rejecting that i am there or not so what is possible about consciousness or we say the experiencer on the existence 
Brahman is to know it. That's all is possible. There is no theory, there is no science. Either you know it or you don't know it. This is called self-realization and it is possible in few minutes. Like we do in the three-day program, it is possible in one hour, 30 minutes sometimes. So you don't need to wait for some day in future. <laughs> right now, right here, the truth is in front of your eyes. Actually, the truth is known since the beginning of the universe. It is the known thing. What is unknown is the science. And that progresses little by little. It will never be known because it is the study of the illusion and the knowledge of the illusion is not possible actually. Non knowledge of the illusion is also illusory. So it is a dynamic thing. The sciences they come and go. But the knowledge is permanent. It is one and the same. That which changes cannot be true. And that which is unchanging is the truth. So my suggestion is to dive into the non-dual philosophy and uh, try to understand that the truth is not a subject of science or study. Either you know it or you don't know it. There is no need to study it. It will, nev it will never be achieved because it is already there. The truth is here still since the beginning. The ignorance is new. Yes, <laughs> the ignorance comes and goes. The truth is like a screen and the ignorance is like movies playing on the screen. Always something new is happening on the screen. But the screen is the same, unchanging background of all these activities. It is eternally present. But those who are ignorant, they ignore it. The, the, word, the meaning of the word ignorance, you know, it comes from ignoring. That means not paying attention. If so much colorful activity is happening on the screen, then looking at the screen is boring. And that is what this individual is doing. It is engaged in the colorful activity and is ignoring that which is always present. Then it tries to look for that truth in that activity. Impossible. It was always there. It will always be there. Chit is asking, how do I know it is always there even before me or after? Because it is you. It is that which is experiencing and it is the existence that is experiencing. The existence never goes away. The forms through which it is experiencing, they come and go. The experiencer is always there. So, if I tell you in these one or two sentences, you will not understand. So, you will need to take up the path of knowledge. Systematic study will give you the evidence. Because if somebody says, look, you are eternal, that is not an evidence. What is the evidence? Your own experience and your own intelligence will provide you the evidence. How to do that? Walk on the path under a very qualified guru. That is how you will know. Me simply saying, look, this is truth. This is eternal. This will be the remaining thing. You see, this is you. Like you are asking, well, whether it will be there before me? After That means you still think it is not me. Something else. It is something else. I am different from the experiencer. So that is the ignorance. And uh, how can you know all these things? By going step by step on the path. So what I'll do, I'll give you a link and you explore that link. What is there, you check. So this is the path of knowledge portal. You will have, you will get all the programs there, all the channels, all the teachers. Many teachers are listed there. So this is the starting point for newcomers. Highly recommended those who want to start on the path. They should go through this material first. Chit is saying, experience exists with respect to experiencer. Are they not interdependent? No, no. They are not interdependent. They are one. Like the waves and the water, they are one. So that is where the non-dual word comes in. That Not two. How will you know that? By systematically walking on the path. Because I can give the whole lecture here, but then, you know, many hours will be wasted. So my suggestion is always to go step by step systematically. Yes, there are two aspects of one. That one is you. It is very easy to know that. The trick on the path of knowledge is to get the evidence. Not simply hear what people are saying. Because people can say anything. Not reliable. So the trick is to convince yourself by solid evidence. You need very solid evidence. And then this, these questions, they come, you know, what is truth? Who decides what is truth? Who decides what is evidence? What is evidence? And that is why you need the proper training. 
and then you need a trainer which is called a guru because he has done it already he has taken the evidence he knows what is evidence what is not what is knowledge what is ignorance and so system comes in and we have our own system the satsang is a part of the system so there are some people who will say i already know all these things i feel i have this knowledge already yes that is very good but as soon as some people question them there are queries and queries and so on and they fail to explain why that is truth why this is false and so on because there is no formal training they don't even have a vocabulary proper words are not there so you always need a little bit of training if that uh, knowledge is shaken by one or two questions it is not knowledge it is simply a feeling Pro- probably it seems right but uh, that is not called evidence evidence is something which never fails when somebody is forced to say that yes this is the case and the reason they are saying this will be called an evidence so i am saying this look you are eternal the experience and the experience are one but merely saying this will not provide any evidence we, we do not say on the path of knowledge we show and to show the seeker must have little bit of dedication patience interest the guru is not going to waste the time in showing all these things to everybody because nobody is really interested so we set up the systems ashrams or institutes some people are going to charge a lot of money also so we have done this online ashram now which is free that is the positive thing plus point and thank you everybody for attending today's satsang i'll see you next time